This is the Analyst Academy with the top 50 PowerPoint shortcuts for management consultants. Hello and welcome to another free video from the Analyst Academy. Today we're going to be talking about the most useful PowerPoint shortcuts. If you want to skip this video, you can download a free PDF of all 50 shortcuts by going to our website, theanalystacademy.com. We also have lots of other really good resources there specifically for the consulting industry. Here we go. Number 50, Control Shift Tab. This one's especially useful in consulting because you do a lot of editing to the storyline and the story flow which means you have to edit the titles of your slides quite often and move the titles of your slides around. So see on the left here, you have your thumbnail pane, hold control, shift, tab. That'll change the thumbnail pane to the outline pane. And what you can do is you can edit the individual titles of each of your slides very quickly and very easily. And you can see how the story flows together. Number 49, new line plus shift. So if you're trying to insert a new line, sometimes it's a little bit tricky, especially in older versions of PowerPoint because when you're trying to make the line, it's hard to make it completely flat. Just hold shift, that line goes completely flat, and you can also move it in 45 degree increments. Number 48, the B or the W key. This one's great for presentation mode. If you're presenting something, but you're having a discussion that has nothing to do with the actual content on the slide, you can just push B, the slide will go completely black, just like this, hit escape to get out of it, push W to make the slide completely white. 47, number plus enter. So let's say you're in presentation mode and you want to go to another slide. So if you look in the bottom right, we're on slide five. I'm in presentation mode. Let's say I want to go to slide three, hit three, then enter. It takes me right to slide three. If I want to go back to slide five, just hit five, enter. Now we're back on slide five. 46, Alt VD. This goes into slide sorter mode, which is very handy if you're just trying to get a glance at all your different slides. This could be helpful if you're trying to move your slides around. Alt VN is how you get into back into normal view. That's number 45. Number 44, this one's very interesting. Changing the case of your selected text. You can push shift plus F3. See, I have the box selected here with the text in it. I push shift F3. It changes it to all uppercase and again to all lowercase. And one more time, it changes it just the first letter. Number 43, shift plus tab. So this allows you to move through the objects on a slide. So there are multiple objects on a slide, whether it's text boxes or shapes, anything like that. This allows you to tab between them. So click tab, and it'll go through the objects in the order that those objects were added to the slide. So hit tab, tab, or you can hold shift and push tab, and it'll go in reverse order. Number 42, shift, alt, up, down. This is just if you want to move a bullet up or down in an ordering. So this is not a well-known shortcut, but it's extremely useful. Let's say I have a list of bullets here. Bullet one, two, three, and four. I select the bullet, and if I want to move bullet one down in the ordering, I want it to be, let's say, after bullet two or after bullet three. Put my cursor in here. Hit Alt, Shift, up or down. I can move it up or down the list. Number 41, control plus resize the shape. Let's say you have a shape that you're trying to make bigger or smaller. Usually you drag this corner right here, and make it bigger or smaller, right? Well, that kind of just sizes it over to one side. Hold control and it resizes it from the center. Number 40, shift plus resize shape. Same kind of idea, but what this does, it's gonna keep your shape equally proportioned. So usually if you grab the corner right here, you can move it up, it makes it taller, or move it to the side, it makes it wider but it doesn't keep it proportioned. Well, if you want to keep it proportioned, hold the shift, drag from the corner, and you have equal proportions, no matter how big or small you make it. And you can also hold control and shift to do both of those, both number 40 and 41 at the same time. Shift plus enter. So if you want to enter a new line break in a text box, usually you just push enter, put some text in here, and you see this space between the two lines, that's because you entered a new paragraph. Well, if you wanna just enter a new line but not a new paragraph, hold Shift plus Enter, put some letters in here, you see how this space is a lot smaller, it's because it's a new line, not a new paragraph. This is especially useful in bullet points if you're trying to add a new line but not a new bullet point. Shift plus Enter. 38, F4, pretty commonly known, this is, this just allows you to repeat the previous command. So let's say 
I want to underline this text box and I want to keep underlining text box. When I select the next one, all I have to do is just click F4, it repeats the same command. 37, control plus end or control plus home. So if you have your cursor inside of a text box, I have a text box right here with three separate sentences. And if I want to add something to the end of the last sentence, rather than tabbing my cursor down through the sentences and moving it over slowly, instead I can just push control and end and it moves my cursor right to the end of the text box. 36, end or home. Same concept as the last one, but instead of going to the end of the text box, just click end if you want to go to the end of the sentence or home to the beginning of the sentence. 35, control plus backspace or control plus delete. So rather than having to delete a word one character at a time or selecting it with your cursor and then deleting it, this allows you to quickly delete words. So if you do control plus backspace, it deletes the word on the left. Control plus delete, deletes the word on the right. And you can do multiple words in succession. 34, control shift bracket allows you to send objects backwards or forwards. So each of the objects on a slide are layered just like in real life. You have some that are in front, some that are in back. We have a green box here that's in front of the text box. If I select the green box and hit control shift close bracket, that's gonna move the box backwards in the layering, allowing you to see the text box. And to move it forward again, control shift open bracket. Number 33, Alt-R-E, this allows you to open the thesaurus, which you think wouldn't be that useful, but when, you're, when you have a lot of words on the slide, select the word Alt-R-E, you see the pan on the right with a lot of different synonyms, select the one you want, right click, click insert, and it replaces it just like that. Number 32, Control shift equal sign, this allows you to create a footnote, so I put my cursor right here, Control shift equal sign, and then I click the number of the footnote I want, so one, there you go. 31, control F1 just hides this ribbon up here, giving you a little bit more space to work. So control F1, and again, to get rid of it. Number 30, control plus scrolling the mouse wheel allows you to zoom in and out of the slide. Number 29, control plus up or down. This actually allows you to move the slide to a different place in the ordering here in the thumbnail pane. So select the slide, hold control, just push the up or the down arrow, allows you to move it up just like this or move it back down. Make sure it's in the right spot. 28, control L, R, or E. This allows you to left, right, or center align a paragraph in a text box. So rather than having to go to the top of the ribbon here and choose these, that takes time, you can just select the paragraph or the words that you want to left, right, or center align. Control L, control R, or control E does just that. 27, control F or control H. Control F to find, control H to replace. Pretty simple. 26, shift plus mouse click. So you'll notice when you're trying to select a text box or any sort of object with text inside, that when you try and do that, your cursor goes inside of the text in between the letters. Well, you don't wanna do that if you're trying to adjust the entire box. Let's say you're trying to bold the entire box. You'll see some people trying to select this little box outline right here. Sometimes it's hard to find. A quick, easy way around that, just hold shift then click anywhere on the box and it selects the entire box. You can do things like bold, unbold, etc. 25, Alt WM opens Slide Master View. Consultants love to work in Slide Master, especially with things like logos, things of that nature that you want to be on every single slide. So you see this logo on the bottom left here. I can't edit it in this view, so I have to do Alt WM. That opens up Slide Master, and then I can edit the logo here, delete it, resize it, whatever I want. Alt WL gets me back into normal view. And that's our next shortcut, number 24. 23, control B, U, or I to bold, underline, or italicize. Pretty simple. Control B, control U, control I. 22, F5 allows you to start a presentation from the beginning. 21, Shift F5 allows you to start a presentation from your current slide. So we'll hold Shift F5, and now we're in presentation mode, escape to get back out. Number 20, Control Shift greater than sign or less than sign allows you to increase or decrease the font size. There are other ways to do this. For example, you can hold Control and push open bracket or close bracket, which is technically less keys, but this is much more intuitive. Greater than or less than corresponds with increasing or decreasing font size. So Control Shift greater than, Control Shift less than, to increase or decrease the font. Number 19, Control M allows you to insert a new slide from your template. So just Control M, there we have a new slide. 
Control D duplicates an object, that's any object, including a slide. So let's select an object here. Control D will allow me to copy and then paste it. So rather than having to go through this menu right here, or Control C and Control V, which again takes more keystrokes than you need, just do Control D, does the exact same thing, but much quicker. 17, Shift plus arrow key will allow me to resize an object without having to use my mouse. So if I have the object selected, I can hold Shift and push up to make it taller, or right to make it wider, left to make it smaller, down to make it shorter. 16, Control plus arrow key will allow me to move an object ever so slightly along the page. So rather than selecting the object and moving it just with my arrows, which moves it in slightly larger increments, I can hold Control and move it in very small increments. 15, escape. When I'm in presentation mode, escape allows me to get out of the presentation. It also allows me to get out of a lot of other things in PowerPoint. 14, control plus G helps you group objects together or control shift G helps you ungroup the objects. I won't go in detail here all about grouping and ungrouping, but if you're planning to be in consulting, it's absolutely something you must know. Number 13, control C or control V Pretty commonly known, just allows you to copy or paste something very quickly. Like we demonstrated earlier, there are quicker ways to do this with objects and other things, but Control-C, Control-V allows you to copy and paste just like this. Number 12, page up, page down. Very useful if you're just trying to get to the next slide. Let's say your cursor is in this slide. If you push down, it will not get you to the next slide. It just thinks you're trying to go down within that object. So just page up, page down allows you to go up or down the slides no matter what you're doing. Number 11, control shift arrow. This helps you highlight a sentence or a word. So let's say I have my cursor in here. If I just wanna highlight just one word, control shift left arrow allows me to highlight the word highlight, right arrow sentence, or I can do down to do the whole rest of the sentence or control shift up to do all of the previous part of the sentence. Number 10, control shift D, you can duplicate a slide this allows you to do it no matter what you're doing in the slide. So you don't have to have the slide itself selected. You can be editing text and just push Control Shift D and it duplicates the entire slide for you. Number nine, F2 or Escape allows you to enter or exit a shape. So like I said earlier, Escape can be used for lots of things. If you have a, a text box selected, push F2 to get into the text box. Just like this, you can now edit the text or Escape to get out of it. The entire object is selected. Very useful if you're trying to minimize your use of the mouse. Number eight, shift plus mouse click. If I wanna move an object to the left or to the right or up or down, it's a little bit tricky to keep that object straight. So notice it's kind of floating up and floating down here. It's hard to keep it exactly horizontal or exactly vertical for where, from where the shape was originally. A way to solve that problem, just hold shift when you're dragging the object. So I'm holding shift, drag it over to the right and it stays completely horizontal, does not move up or down. I can do the same thing if I'm moving up, stays completely vertical, does not move to the left or the right. It snaps to one of those two axes. Number seven, control plus mouse click. Mouse click, this allows you to quickly copy an object. So I have the object selected, just hold control, drag it over, and now I have two of them. I can do it again, three, four, as many as I need to. And where this becomes really useful is when you combine it with the previous shortcut. So hold control and shift, I can drag an object over, I can copy it, but it stays on the same horizontal axis. I can do the same thing vertically, etc. Number six, control plus mouse click. This just allows you to select multiple objects at one time. Hold control, select different object, and you can move them all at once. Number five, control shift C and V allows me to copy and paste just formatting, no text or anything else. So hold this or select one object, control shift C to copy. Control shift V on the other object will completely copy and paste the exact formatting. Number four, alt H G A, which actually isn't a shortcut in and of itself, but it will open the align, distribute, and group menu, which is extremely useful. If you don't know these commands, you need to learn them as a consultant because they'll help you create pixel perfect slides and they will save you tons of time. Alt H G A to open the align, distribute, and group menu. Number three, control A. This allows you to select all text, select all the objects on a screen, or select all the slides in a presentation, Control A. Number two, Control Z and Control Y simply allow you to just undo or redo an action. And number one, Control S allows you to save your presentation. Many of you are probably doing this already. If not, you should be. Do it early, do it often, 
It will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache down the road. And that's it, your top 50 PowerPoint shortcuts for management consultants. For more videos just like this, visit us at theanalystacademy.com. We also have tons of resources, including a PDF of all 50 of these shortcuts, again, in order of their usefulness that you can download and print off and use however you please. We also have plenty of tra other training videos and courses, again, designed specifically for consultants. Check us out, theanalystacademy.com.